Hi guys, it's Brooke. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go down and subscribe and turn your post notifications on. And if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Now today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these little DIY Valentine's cards for whoever you want. Um, you can really do whatever you want with this, so it doesn't really have to be for your boyfriend or girlfriend. It could be for your mom, your dad, whoever you want to give this to. But I'm going to show you guys how to make this. This is my finished product. Oops, I just touched it. That's great. This is my finished product, and as you guys can see, it's still drying. But if you would like to see how this is made, then keep on watching. Okay, guys, so you're going to want to start out with some sort of paper. I'm using Bristol paper because it is sort of thick, so the glitter and whatever else I'm going to be drawing on it is not going to sink through to the other side. So all you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper. You're just going to rip out a piece of paper. Okay, now that you have your piece of paper, you're going to need something to write with, a ruler, and pair of scissors. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to see how big you want this card or whatever you're going to make basically. I think I'm just going to make it maybe like a six by six square. I think I'm going to make it like a six by six square. So so as you guys can see here, I made myself a little square. So now after you're done with that, you're just going to cut it out. So as you guys can see, I cut out my little square and I'm going to show you guys what to do from there. Actually, I think I wanted about five and a half on each side, so I'm just going to cut it right back down. Okay guys, now I have my smaller square, but I'm gonna show you guys what the next step is. Okay guys, so the next thing that I wanna do, at least for my little mini card, is I wanna make it look, like when I'm done, that there's gonna be blood dripping down. Kind of like a heart dripping, not really like scary Halloween-y, but you know what I mean. I'm just gonna take a Sharpie, and I'm just gonna draw little droplets. They don't have to be super nice, super anything. Just simple, something simple just like that. Now I know that's where I want the red to drip down on the card. So, next thing I'm gonna do. You're gonna wanna get your supplies. Today I have little glitter pens right here and I have some bigger glitter right here. I have some markers just in case I wanna write anything. Right now I'm gonna put everything off to the side. Next I'm gonna write what I want it to say on this card. As you guys can see, I just wrote Happy Valentine's Day. Nothing crazy yet. We're gonna get to the glitter later after we finish the crayon up here. So the next thing you, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna pick the color crayon that you want to be dripping down your card. I picked this red right here. It's more of like a deep, deep red, as you guys can see right here. It's more of like a deep red, but it, I think it's gonna look really nice. So next, I'm gonna show you guys how to melt this crayon onto this sheet of paper. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna peel your crayon. Okay guys, I know this looks different from the beginning because I accidentally dropped the other one and I like stepped on it and I made a, like a footprint in it. So I just made another one really quickly. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna put tape on the back of this so when you're blowing it with the hair dryer, it doesn't blow away from the surface that you put it on. Now I'm just gonna place it onto the surface Make sure you do it on a surface, obviously that you don't mind getting like dirty because as you can see from me doing like plenty of projects of, with crayon on this, it obviously like stained it and stuff. So just make sure you do it on a surface you don't really care about. So now you're gonna take the crayon that you want. Mine looks melted, but it's okay. So you're gonna take the crayon that you want and you're gonna take your hair dryer and you're gonna blow your hair dryer on this crayon. So as it's melting, you're just gonna run your hand right across the surface of the top and let it drip down your paper. Make sure you keep the hairdryer pretty straight up so you don't go like this and it doesn't blow a different kind of direction. Just keep it straight up so it blows straight directly down. And this might burn your hand, so I'm gonna just say, try to get through the pain because it does burn your hand a little bit and your nails, but that's okay. So 
So now after you're done doing right across the top, let it dry for a second and you're gonna wanna take a second color that you just wanna splatter at your painting. So I think I wanna take this little pinky color so I can just splatter that on my painting. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take off the wrapping. So now this next part might be a little tricky, but I promise you'll get the hang of it. So you're gonna take your hair dryer and you're gonna blow at the crayon so you start seeing it melt a little bit at the top. Now as you're gonna see it melting, you're gonna wanna splatter it, make it melt some more, splatter it, make it melt, splatter it, make it melt. It's a process and your fingers will burn. As you guys can see, my fingers were burning so bad and the crayon starts going this way, but you're just gonna have to try to like shake it off and just keep going as you go through your painting. So now as this is drying, you can either get another crayon to do another color of splatter with or you can leave it like this. I think I'm going to leave mine like this considering I'm going to put glitter on a little while and I don't want it to be too busy on the paper. Okay guys, so I have my glitters here next to me and I have my little canvas thing. And now is when I add the glitter. I didn't add the glitter before because obviously I didn't know where I wanted to put it and I didn't want it to melt under the hair dryer. So, um, by the way, I'm not leaving. I don't think I'm going to leave the words like this. I think I'm going to go over them with either gold or red glitter. But for now, I think I'm gonna go over it with gold. I think that's gonna look pretty, the red and gold. So I'm gonna go over the words with gold and you guys can see me do that. I think I kind of like the fact that there's black underneath the gold. I think it gives it more of, I don't know, um -mm, because the glue is technically clear with some gold in it, so I think the black actually pushes the gold more to the top. So, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the reds. I'm gonna open the reds, and I think I'm just gonna do little hearts around the paper. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Obviously, do this a day before so it can dry because if you ever use glitter glue, you know this thing can dry for literally hours. So make sure you do this at least a day before. Um, I actually really like how it came out. It's really like, I don't know, like I said before, it's really homemade. I think whoever you give this to will really, really like it. Don't forget, you know, to put who you're giving it to and everything like that. You can put that on the back. You can make this literally however you guys want. This is how uh, mine turned out. I've never made one of these before, but I've made things like this and I really like how my first one turned out. So yeah, so if you liked it, don't forget to go down and smash the like button. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you beautiful people next time.